Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 135 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to go over today is how do you use a wire tracer to trace a three-phase circuit. As you can see here, I've got one test lead hooked up to one of the phases and I'm about to hook up the other test lead from the transmitter to the ground. You'll see I've got the red test lead hooked up to the ground and the other not. I'm pointing out right there that this shows it is an energized circuit. So this is a smart transmitter so it will send one kind of signal if it's an energized circuit and a different kind of signal if it's a de-energized circuit. So you'll notice that says energized with that little triangle lit up there. Later on the receiver we're going to also show you that it is receiving the signal for an energized circuit. So you can see there's three different modes here on the 2062R and the first one was smart sensor. We are going to be looking at both the tip sensor and the breakers uh, modes. So right now you can see I'm maxing out. It doesn't matter what I put it on. I'm putting it on the three phases that are uh, the inputs and I'm adjusting the sensitivity and you can see I get a stronger signal from the one the phase that it's hooked up to and lower signal on the other two phases. Again, it's pretty obvious, you can figure this out uh, without using the breaker mode, but we're gonna show you how you can use the brains of it to also do breaker mode here in a little bit. Now I am showing you here that little red uh, circle with the lightning bolt in it is showing that it's receiving an energized a signal from the transmitter. You can see that red signal with this mode as well. Now we're in breaker mode and you can see solid green lines. It's remembering the strongest signal and then forgetting the lessers. So you can see when it got on that one phase, it lit up green, and on the other ones, it forgot about them after the first time through. We're now gonna do the tip sensor. Actually, we're gonna jump to breaker sensor and we're gonna do it at the breaker panel. So this is probably 60, 80 feet away from where we were. And we can go down um, both sides and you can see once in a while it'll turn green and when we get the green solid arrow that is going to be our breaker and we know which phase it is and which breaker that we need to uh, mess with. So that's how easy it is to log single phase or tr three phase I should say and it's just like it is on single phase. I hope this was helpful this is a quick short video but it does hopefully tell you everything you need to know. Now Here's kind of bonus round. This is doing the same thing in the breaker um, with the sensitivity or the tip sensor and then messing with the sensitivity yourself. This takes a little bit more practice and you kind of got to look at how much signal strength you're getting and continue to adjust the signal and then go back and forth. I prefer to use the breaker mode, but um, you can always do it yourself as well. If I would have gone ahead and turned off the breaker, then and looked at the screen, you would see that the screen would show you the de-energized circuit, knowing that you did in fact get the breaker you wanted to trip. Hope this was helpful. Take care.